a lifestyle, he says, out of bullying, he says, they know no other way, he says, to get what it is that they want. But I assure you, and heed my words, he says, when they go to bed at night, they do not sleep well. For how could they when they have treated you so badly? He says, how could they when they know that when they were treated such as that, it did not feel good? So you must know and you must allow it, he says, to reside in your heart that they are the source of it. Never turn it, he says, because the someone's about to speak up and say, well, you know, I'm not all that great. I do behave badly. And he stops them. No, no. He says, if you have ever been treated badly, he says, it does not matter what you have done. He says, the reality is it's in how they have behaved in return. He says, if a parent scorns a child, and he says, indeed, that is the most difficult job of all, he says, they must temper it. They must, he says. Otherwise, it just grows and grows and grows. He says, and so this is a topic, he says, I could speak hours upon. We could be here hours, he says, but I do not have hours. I have minutes. He says, and so that is why I have made it very um, emphasizing, he says, ever so much, he says, that you realize that it's not you, it is them. But the reality is, they will never realize it is them. And perhaps I should not say never, he says, but for as long as you keep thinking it's you and don't point out to them that it is them or they, he says, um, they will never change. And he says, you cannot change them until they are ready to change. And henceforth, he says, uh, in order for them to change, big things have to come forward, he says. And oftentimes, he says, it can be that indeed um, they do something that is against the law. And finally, someone decides, he says, um, to lay down the law, to call the law, to enforce it, he says. And oftentimes, that is the only way they begin to change. Because they realize their game is up. They can no longer um, get away with it for as long as they keep making you think you are the source and root of the problem. Their game never has to change. He says, so from me to you, to all those people who are suffering badly, he says right now. <clears throat> I want to offer you this. I want you to all rise up. And as he says that, I see... So there's like a circle of people. I see this tremendous amount of energy just rise up from out, from out of all these people. He says, I want you to all rise up, he says, and I want you to take each other's hands. So everybody grabs each other's hands. And it's quite something to see if you're from where I am. And he says, and all I hear now is this song. All we are saying is give peace a chance. All we are saying is give peace a chance. And so you can see the lines like sway and back and forth as, uh, as the music plays. And then um, they also start to partake um, in the singing. And their voices, you know, get stronger and they become more confident as they're singing. And, um, and while the energy just is just brilliant as it, as it pours out from their bodies and the tops of their head. And almost, you know, it's like creating this aurora borealis uh, above them. It's absolutely spectacular. And um, he says, you see? He's like talking to me, talking to you guys. He says, do you see? Do you see the power that you have within yourself, he says, to create glorious things? He says, do you see? And 
we're seeing and we're watching these beautiful energy and the beautifulness of like the um, aurora borealis into the sky. He says, so my children, be free and know that you have the power to be free and that we, as he's pointing to we, as in the people in heaven, we and my partners in heaven, my family, he says, will always be here for you. All you need to do is ask and listen, and we will be here for you, he says, and you can and will be free. And they're singing away. And he says, and so my child, to you, Tracy, to those listening, he says, be free. And it is them. It is not you. I hope these words ring true for you, he says. God bless. Just knock, he says, and I'll be there. God bless. Sometimes I, I think I forget that the, the video was running. So that ends the uh, session on, on bullying, and that was done by White Honk. So I hope that that has brought some comfort and solace uh, to any and all of you who have suffered uh, in the hands of bullies. God bless. I wish you well. And uh, I hope to see you back here again. Take care.